Today we're going to do a special trick with hearts. And we're going to make some hearts just like artist Jim Dine. You're all going to have a piece of paper like this. The color does not matter because this is just a tool that we're using today. You're all going to have a heart stencil to trace. So lay it down, trace the heart, and cut the heart out. And you will have a pan on your table for trash. I know those curves are hard, so try your best to cut the curves as nice as you can. Then, you have a piece of paper. And you'll all have different colors. Make sure you write your name on the paper. And flip it over so your name is on the back. Then the fun will begin. I will pick helpers. The helpers will get a box of chalk, which is dusty, and it is a little messy. What you need to do, here I'll set my heart to the side for a second. It's on your heart, you're gonna kinda trace it. You don't have to be super careful when you trace it. See, I'm kinda making a mess when I trace it. Lay it on your paper and take your finger and I'm rubbing away from the heart. And when I lift up, ta-da, it looks like it's glowing. So this is something that we call negative space. It's a hole. And then the line out here is positive space. Then we do it again. So you pick another color, color right on top of where you did the first time on your heart. And no, it doesn't have to be messy. Just so make sure the chalk is really thick. Then lay it on. Rub with your finger. And it's another glowing heart. Ah. And you can use as many colors as you want. You can put on as many hearts as you want. And they can go different directions too. They don't all have to be right side up. And now I think I've got enough hearts on my paper. I can stop. So if you want to keep this, you can. But it is really dirty. If you don't want it, we put it in the pan on your table. And these need washed before you do anything else. You also have to squirt your area a couple times, like one, two, and wipe the whole thing. Chalk tends to get everywhere. Have fun.